So this brings me to my third door. The LED installations are becoming a part of architecture more and more, and they are really powerful, high-resolution displays for artists like me to create these kind of kinetic digital sculptures in a way. So I'm mostly imagining these forms as an actual physical sculpture. I'm thinking of how can I do impossible things that real object can't do this with our current material technology, but maybe speculate about the future of those materials. An LED screen like this one in MGM National Harbor, this is a 60 feet tall giant LED screen, just like I imagined them as these digital installations in physical life. The presence of it in the space really felt like these kinetic sculptural ideas were actualized. For these kind of large displays, it's hard to find the right art because these are very exotic resolutions or weird aspect ratios. Licensing my artwork to those kind of companies who are focusing on the curation is also a cool way for artists like me to present my work in different spaces. This one was two years ago in Istanbul. I proposed a 360 LED installation in a box, basically. It was very much like a VR slash dome experience, but this time created with LEDs tactile in a way because you see each pixel so it acts like a light source. This time I used four different two by three meters large LEDs and placed each different work and with AR activation using a QR I was also able to present the work in 3D so if you're there with your phone you can experience it in that way too. And the last one I'm going to show here this is Turkey's first electric car. In it it has a very wide display. I created this human technology artwork, which was inspired by Edward Mybridge's work, the human ambition of capturing motion and how it uh, opened doors to cinematic arts and other technologies later.